Hello Team Southeast, I'm Captain Jorge Quadras, your commanding officer. The Vice Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Bill Lesher, has challenged us to accelerate our desired outcomes by adjusting our leadership practices. I'd like to share some highlights that we can implement to help us achieve solutions faster to expedite the delivery of products and services to the fleet, thus contributing to overall mission success. Some of the barriers that our traditional methods have created include fear, distrust, lack of transparency, work by committee, stovepipe perspective, status quo thinking, risk aversion, and complacency. Now that we've acknowledged some of the barriers, let's discuss some of the ways we can break those down. Traditionally, we work to fix our issues in-house and avoid asking our chain of command for help. This practice has created some barriers. While it's great that we try to resolve issues at the lowest possible levels, I encourage you to be transparent with all levels of your chain of command. If you can't find a solution, elevate it. When warranted, the FED core leadership should be part of the collaborative process. The more transparent you are, the faster you and your team can find a solution. This new behavior will create the opportunity to provide our workforce with the correct tools that they need to overcome the barriers preventing mission success more quickly. As accountability is one of the CNO's core character traits, these adjustments to our behavior should feel small. In order to streamline our problem solving, we should clearly establish a single accountable leader. The benefits of using committee-based approach means that we have many minds working towards solutions and that will continue. With an accountable leader in place, it'll be easier to maintain progress by keeping the team focused. In order to provide an effective outcome and quickly, we must embrace the red. Accepting the status quo is an act of complacency. It is incredibly more challenging to achieve progress without first acknowledging the problems. A great example of embracing the red is our Near Miss program. The Near Miss program is a command-wide safety initiative that allows us the opportunity to identify and correct safety hazards before they become a safety mishap. This program is essential in keeping each other safe while providing lessons learned that can benefit us in the future. When you stop to think about it, the Near Miss program is a great example of transparency, accountability, and embracing the red. It is imperative that we work together to put more use to this program. For more information on the Near Miss program, you can visit the NAFAC Southeast portal, the mobile app, or contact our safety director. After you've embraced the red, focus the conversation on the root cause of problem instead of just the consequences. Be sure the conversation includes details that are connected to clearly defined outcomes, root causes, and key uncertainties or assumptions. These kinds of conversations must happen at all levels of responsibility and focus on finding solutions. To circle back on elevating your barriers, include these details when presenting your problems or solutions to your chain of command. Essentially, the days of sugarcoating issues are over. Speaking of details, the way we look at metrics is changing. Traditionally, we focused on input metrics, meaning what the command has to provide for the solution. For example, money, manpower, equipment, etc. Now we must include relentless focus on output or result metrics to better shape and reshape our plans as solutions are put in place. Change can be difficult. That's why we're working towards a concept called coaching CADA. CADA is a martial arts term that focuses on form, routines, or patterns which can be practiced to develop a skill to the point where it becomes second nature. This will ultimately benefit the organization by developing the habits and skills to shift individual mindsets and corporate culture toward truly continuous improvement. This will keep our process efficient, customers happy, and teams engaged. In order to coach ourselves towards CADA, here are five questions that help us. Number one, what is the target condition? Number two, 
What is the actual condition now? Number three, what obstacles do you think are preventing you from reaching the target condition? And which obstacles are you addressing now? Number four, what is your next step? And number five, how quickly can we see lessons learned from taking that step? I know an organizational culture shift can mean challenges, but based on the resiliency I have witnessed in our great command during the pandemic, I have every confidence that we can implement these new practices seamlessly. Look for the command note I sent out on July 20th. It contains more details on these concepts. Thanks for your attention, and I look forward to seeing how changing our actions improves our outcomes across the command. Bravo Zulu to PWD Gulfport for completing a first of its kind Black Start exercise last month. A special shout out to our installation energy manager, Mr. Ron Jenkins. Well, this is a first of a kind exercise in the uh, Navy. So all 71 CNIC Naval installations have been directed to do a Black Start exercise. We are absolutely thrilled that our partners with Mississippi Power in conjunction today with a first of its kind uh, microgrid has successfully now started up uh, right on time and has provided power to key facilities on the installation. So what the microgrid allows us to do here uh, is basically take roughly three megawatts of power and provide that to our key operational facilities on the installation. So in times of uh, CVs that are called on for disaster recovery, hurricane landfall, we will be able to operate and provide that community support if necessary. Due to the extensive coordination in advance of the exercise, tenants and departments captured information necessary to understand capabilities and limitations during a real world event and develop SOPs to mitigate those impacts. Thank you for all you do, PWD Gulfport. Keep up the good work.